So let's actually go to regulation 36 in the gas installation and use regulations 1998, which is the responsibilities for a landlord and see if that actually tells us we need to do a tightness test on a landlord's report. Regulation 36, paragraph 2. Every landlord shall ensure that there is maintained in a safe condition a. Any relevant gas fitting and b. Any flue which serves any relevant gas fitting so as to prevent the risk of injury to any person in lawful occupation of relevant premises. Now, don't you just love legal speak? Is that actually English? Anyway, again, in that section, it doesn't tell us that landlords are required to do tightness testing. But if we go a little bit further down, because section two does cover the pipework responsibilities for landlord. So let's have a look at that. Code of Practice 300. Effective maintenance of appliances usually involves an ongoing program of regular periodic inspections, together with any necessary remedial work. In the absence of specific manufacturer's instructions, effective maintenance shall include, as a minimum, a. Examination of physical condition and safe functioning of appliance or appliances, installation pipework, ventilation and any flu for deterioration, B. Carry out performance tests and C. Take the necessary remedial action. Finally, pipe work is mentioned, but it's only mentioned in maintenance and it's mentioned in the ACOP section. So ACOP's a code of practice. Some of you may remember actually doing your ACOP's test before 1999. And then it changed to ACS, which is Accredited Certification Scheme. But what is an ACOP and actually is it valid? Approved code of practice are approved by the Health and Safety Executive Board with the consent of the Secretary of State. 9. The ACOP describes preferred and recommended methods that can be used or standards to be met to comply with the gas safety installation and use regulations and the duties imposed by the Health and Safety at Work Act. The guidance provides advice on achieving compliance or it may give general information including explanation of the requirements of the law, more specific technical information for references for further information. The legal status of ACOPs and guidance text is explained on the copyright page.